have a, a spare piece of property lying around. Why not turn it into a farm? New at 6, KPX 5's Leonard Ramirez on the proposal to cut landowners in one Bay Area County a big tax break. Lettuce, fava greens. Even parsley. in the middle of winter, this urban farm in San Jose produces enough food for tonight's salad bowl and tomorrow's breakfast platter. Chicken eggs. Sunny side up. We're literally in the shadow of the 680-101 overpass. It's called Vegilution, and it's tucked away on some land that sat vacant for decades, wedged between the freeways and a tow yard. But it's got the same stuff that once made the Santa Clara Valley world famous for agriculture, long before it was known as Silicon Valley. We have the best soil and the best climate in the world for growing stuff. And it's the kind of place we might be seeing more of if County Supervisor Ken Yeager has his way. I think it would be great for people to be driving by and sort of seeing these small farms sprouting up um, in areas where they just wouldn't expect it. Jaeger is proposing a tax break to encourage owners of vacant land to turn their overgrown and unused lots into small urban farms to produce more locally grown food. People can either lease that land or a property owner can do it themselves if this is undeveloped property and um, be then assessed at a lower value. Jaeger says there are 91 lots that could qualify in Santa Clara County if if all buy in, it could mean a $760,000 hit to the budget over five years, but it could also help build a healthier community. Although this farm is only about six acres in size, last year it produced about 48,000 pounds of food, about 56,000 pounds the previous year. And yes, that is something to crow about. It's really hard to find land if you're trying to do any kind of urban farming. And so this will make it possible for more people to, to join up. Farming in Silicon Valley, it might not just be a part of the past. In San Jose, Len Bramides, KPIX 5.